What is NSUniser defaults? Well, it is simply a very light way to persist data through our application. What kind of data, you might ask? Well, NSUniser defaults can hold objects that are or are wholly composed of property lists. So what is a property list? Well, it is simply one of the following classes, including NSData, NSString, NSNumber, NSDate, NSArray, or NSDictionary. Hopefully, most of those objects sound familiar to you. As your new NS user defaults can also use properties, and it can store these properties such as floats, doubles, integers, bools, and URLs. As you can see, although this list includes a lot of the basic stuff, NS user defaults would certainly not be used to store videos, views, or more complex objects of the like. How does NS user defaults accomplish this? Well, you can think of NS user defaults as a gigantic dictionary where you can store and access values under various keys. When we want to store an object, you simply call the method setObjectForKey on an instance of our NS user default. And when we want to retrieve an object, we use the method ObjectForKey. Okay, now that you know the general theory, let's apply this using NS user defaults dictionary as tool to store our added planets. When do we want to store our data? Well, a good idea would be every time we add a new space object. So in the OW Outer Space Table View Controller, navigate to the add space object method, and we're going to remove our previous NS log and write a comment to ourselves that this is where we'll actually save to our NS user defaults. So let's type, we'll save to NS user defaults here. You'll find as you write more code that one of the biggest challenges is often knowing where and when to write code as much as what code to write. Uh, but first, let's notice that our space object is not in the form of a plist. The floats and primitives should be converted to objects through the use of NSNumber, and our image is certainly not a property list material. Our aim is to convert our planets into NS dictionaries and then add all of those to an array. Whenever we need to save an object, we'll remove the array from our NS user defaults or access it. We'll add our space object to it and then put the array back in or save it to NS user defaults.